So um, uh, as you, I think you probably saw earlier today, our French and uh, British allies uh, publicly uh, offered the assessment that Iran's supply of these UAVs uh, to Russia is a violation of UN Security Council Resolution 2231. Uh, and this is something that we uh, agree with. And under the UN Security, Rounds, UN Security Council Resolution 2231, restrictions on the certain transfer of certain weapons remain in force. Uh, and these restrictions are in addition uh, to those weapons that were uh, restricted under the conventional arms embargo. And it is our belief that these UAVs that were transferred from Iran to Russia and used by Russia in Ukraine are among the weapons uh, that would remain embargoed under 2231. Okay. Uh, you know, we have been warning since July uh, that Iran was planning to sell UAVs uh, to Russia for use uh, against Ukraine. Uh, we also exposed publicly that Russia has received drones from Iran, uh, that this was part of Russia's plan to import hundreds of Iranian UAVs of various types, and that Russian operators continue to receive training in Iran on how to use these systems. Uh, there's extensive proof of their use by Russia against both military and civilian targets there. And you've all seen the reports, as you mentioned um, this morning, of what appears to be Iranian drones striking downtown Kyiv. Um, Russia deepening an alliance with Iran uh, is something the whole world, uh, should, especially those in the region uh, and across the world, frankly, should be seen as a profound threat and something that um, any country should uh, pay very close attention to. Uh, this is something that we're continuing to monitor closely on our end, and we're in close touch uh, with our allies and partners, uh, including those in the United Nations, to address Iran's dangerous proliferation of weapons to Russia. Uh, and anyone doing business with Iran that could have any link to UAVs or ballistic missile developments or the flow of arms from Iran to Russia should be very careful and do their due diligence. Uh, the US will not hesitate uh, to use sanctions or take actions uh, against perpetrators. This, uh, this continued action of Iran um, and Russia uh, closening their relationship is a reminder of candidly how the Russian military is suffering from major supply shortages in Ukraine, uh, in large part because of the sanctions and export controls that are being enforced by the United States and its allies.